Hi everybody, how are you doing today? This is Hillary, the Marketing Mom. Glad you're able to join me. It is Friday. We're excited. Um, this weekend we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff with the girls, so just excited about that. Um, so today, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Hillary. I'm the Marketing Mom. I'm a social media manager over at Elite Marketing Group. I'm a digital marketing strategist, a business coach, online business coach and trainer. And I teach moms and I work with moms in particular who are ready to get out of the rat race and build a business that they're able to be doing within the freedom of their home and the comfort of their home and being able to just be available for your kids. You know that, you know, being, being available as a mother to your kids and being able to be a mother for your kids is one of the most uplifting things and you know i always tell people four years ago um just before we were about to have our first daughter um i left i was going off on maternity leave and i said i'm not coming back i said it i said i am not coming back i claimed it and um unfortunately i didn't claim it hard enough and that's something you know we, we talk about very often on these lives but you know I had that vision was born. It was born in me that I did not want to have to work for anybody. I wanted to be that mom who's at home. Yes, working because I've got three degrees and there's no point in putting three degrees to waste, right? But I wanted to be home and available for my kids, still work, but in a completely different manner, in the freedom and doing things that are very flexible. So four years ago, you know, left my office um and my daughter now she has grown up seeing her mother working a business at home she understands the whole thing about time and time balance and time management because she sees her mom struggling with it so she understands the concept even at four years old and this is what we want for our kids we want to be able to demonstrate to them through what we do and what we're doing out of love, you know, for them. We want to be able to teach them these lessons. And we can't do that if we're always stuck in an office, eight to five, eight to six, eight to seven, sometimes, depending on the type of boss that you have. So anyway, today, as I was sharing yesterday, you know, I was talking yesterday um, about attraction marketing. And I wanted to talk, I wanted to get more into how to use attraction marketing, especially the attraction marketing formula for offline businesses because a lot of people sometimes you know they they're not making that connection and i want to share that you know a lot of what we do online could always be utilized offline we just use different names instead of capture pages we've got business cards instead of um instead of emails you've got phone call follow-ups all right so the first thing i mean i want to share with you now attraction marketing formula has grown from a very thin book into this huge book that i actually printed out it's easier for me to read on paper i know it kills a lot of trees but um it's really easier for me to read on paper now the interesting thing about the book is that when you read it online they've got all the hyperlinks so that you can go and see all the examples but they also have the print screen so that is great when you get your book and it's an ebook all right it's not going to be mailed to you it's an ebook but when you get your book, you're going to be able to go through it, whether it be online, like on your computer where you have the hyperlinks, or you can read it, you know, hard copy like this, because this is what I like. You know, I go through and I make some highlights, I make notes and I come back to it. And what I will say is that whether you are building a business online, but if you are particularly, you should read this once a quarter. So you see it's out because it's, it's going to be a part of my fourth quarter reading this, this quarter. And why is that? Because it helps remind me of what are some of those principles of how you attract people to you and then how you develop that business, all right? How do you develop that relationship? And I've talked about this many times that network marketers and consultants in particular, you're always looking for new leads. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get my stuff up, <laughs> right? We're always looking for new leads, new customers. And that's what all businesses are looking for. They're looking for new customers. And you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I bring in new customers? Well, the first thing everybody thinks about is advertising. But then if you're in a recession, that's the first thing that people usually pull, all right? So now you're starting to have to think about, you know, what do I do in real marketing, okay? And when we break down marketing, which I'll do, I'll, I'll do that in a different session because we know their marketing degrees are that you could spend four up to seven years studying marketing. Um, and at, although I was never originally you know um a lover of marketing i realized that marketing is everything and everything is marketing and 
as a as a business person if you don't get that and it's not about just understanding the words and saying the words over marketing is everything and everything is marketing it's truly understanding it because as an engineer coming from the engineering space i came from the here's a problem here's the solution space and that any problem had a solution and that's true because in business what you're really doing is providing solutions to people's problems and that is one aspect of the attraction marketing formula that you will discover is that you've got to have solutions to people's problems but not only that you've got to position them so i always go back to this example when i first started working in a, a caterpillar facility in mississippi all right i had this grand idea because i had been walking around the shop floor for a couple of weeks and just observing observing different things on the shop floor that could be improved all right, that's my job. I'm an engineer and I'm supposed to find problems and solve them. So I saw all these problems and I started jotting them down and started to figure out what was the solution and all of this stuff. And then my boss comes and tells me, okay, well, now go and sell it. And I thought to myself, sell it. Well, here's the problem. Here's the solution. What do I need to sell? This is the problem. This is the solution that will solve the problem. And he tells me, go and sell it. And that was the first time it dawned on me that you've got to market everything, whether it's a solution for a shop floor problem, whether it is a cone that you're trying to sell to a bald man, you've got to know how to sell. But selling is not like the used car salesman type of selling. It's about making sure that people truly understand the problem. And I like to, and in attraction marketing for me, in the boot camp in particular, they talk about that, knowing the problem. They go into a lot of detail about knowing the problem. And sometimes I like to mirror knowing the problem to, you know, cut that you get. Now, I don't know if, you know, you've ever experienced maybe running, you're a kid, you're running, and on gravel, some pitch, you fall down and you get a nasty big cut on your knee. All right? Now, imagine the pain that you're in. That's a problem. Now, if somebody were to come and rub salt in that, it would be really painful, right? So all of a sudden, your problem is magnified and you're looking for any solution. Well, marketing is kind of like that, okay? It's kind of like people have problems, but sometimes they're not that important. It's like, okay, I have a back problem. I'll take two aspirin, but I'm allergic to aspirin, so I can't take aspirin. But you don't have a back problem, I'll take some tablet. Or, you know, my shoes hurt to me, I'll just stretch it out. But sometimes our problems, they're not magnified enough. They don't keep us up at night. And that's one of the things that an attraction marketing formula, they tell you to spend, especially if you're trying to market any product or service, spend a, a lot of time understanding the problem, right? product solves and when you understand that what you're going to be doing is attracting the people who have that problem and who really have it who they're really looking for a solution okay so think of that big cut that big bloody cut and you the marketer the person will be salt rubbing the salt into that person's cut all right because what you're doing is shining a spotlight on their problem so if somebody you know they talk about i want to build a business and they, that, that's their problem. Why do they want to build a business? And you've got to get into that. Why would somebody want to build a business? Why do they want extra money? Why, 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 why? And you've got to ask why to them and ask why in your head as well. Why would this person really want to build a business? On the service level, it's always about the money. Everybody wants more money. Okay, so that's not the real answer. And when you get down to what the real answer is, then you could start doing all the tactical things, I call them tactical things, that are going to basically say, hey, this is your problem over here and I've got a solution, all right? That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get their attention on the fact that I know what your problem is. I understand your problem. Now, a lot of the times, you know, consultants, retailers, they don't get down to that nitty gritty when it comes to their marketing. And as a result, they resort to flyers and they resort to cheap Facebook ads or they resort to, you know, things that just don't convert. They don't convert into customers and long-term customers. 
a long-term customer would stick with you if you solve the problem. We have, you know, inside of our team, we have one person who they never have a negative report because they're the problem solver. All right, they're the problem solver. They're the one who's always fixing something for somebody. So obviously, they always have a one hundred percent feedback rate. All right, and that's what you want to be. That is what you will create in long term customers if you get a one hundred percent feedback rate. If you understand what I'm saying, okay. So attraction marketing formula starts most fundamentally. Fundamentally, I'm sorry, with understanding the problems that your prospects are going to have. And I call them prospects, leads. These are potential customers, people who you have not done business yet with. You have to know what their problem is before you can even offer them a solution. They don't care about what you have to offer. They care about the real problem that they have to solve. And that's something, that's the core. And I would say, once you understand that, then all the other tactical stuff that is detailed inside of attraction marketing formula becomes, you start to understand it because that's the, that's the area that you're speaking from. You're speaking from the position of, I know your problem. This is your problem. I feel your problem. I get your problem. And I get your problem even more because I've been there. I've been through it, all right? So that is what you you do inside of attraction marketing formula, all right? You understand that. Now, there are these systems, okay? So we've got the different systems and what you do in terms of, you know, you don't just talk to any and everybody. You zero in, and that's about understanding the problem. You zero in on the, the ideal client. Who's your ideal client for the problem, the solution that you're offering, okay? And the reality is, if we think about it, when we go to an event, we don't just go up to somebody and say, hey, I know that you are, you know, you have back problems. I've got a tablet for you. No. All right. In attraction, in the boot camp, you know, they talk about marrying your prospect. You know, you just need somebody at the bar or something like that. And you just go to them and say, hey, would you marry me? That's exactly what your prospects experience when you drop a flyer on their car. Okay. For it, you know, and I recently, the other day, you know, um, I shared, this was on a live that I shared, you know, a company here in Trinidad, Price Mart calls me, and they're giving me some offer to sign up for something, and I'll be getting an ice cream. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm not 10. And if I wasn't 10, and if I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't want an ice cream. I'm not 10. I'm a 30-something-year-old woman trying to lose weight. Why are you offering me a cone of ice cream? Makes no sense, right? So... You wouldn't do that. That's like going to a bar and saying, hey, marry me. I don't know your name. I don't know your number. I don't know where you live. I don't know anything about you other than the fact that, you know, you've got a back pain that I have a tablet to sell you and let's get married. Makes no sense. You wouldn't do that in your real life. And that is what attraction marketing formula, especially the bootcamp goes through those different things. So you can always grab your bootcamp and the link above or below depending on where you're watching this, if it's a replay, if you're watching it live. Grab your 10-day bootcamp and it goes through those different things. You don't marry a prospect before you've gotten engaged and all of those fun different things, okay? And you understand how you can take this from online to offline because in the bootcamp, it really talks about the principles of networking, all right? This is, this is people, all right? You don't go to somebody and try to sell them before you even know who they are, what they do, and all of this type of stuff. It's, it, it's kind of like, you know, teaching people how to be polite and respectful, all right? And moms, we know that. We struggle with that in terms of teaching our children how to be polite. Good morning. How are you doing? Not um, water, please, all right? I get that from my daughter a lot. She's sitting down at the table eating, and she just screams up, water, please. So I stop, and I say, hello. May I have some water, please? Okay, all right. So it's the same thing that we're teaching you. We're teaching you manners in business, in business relations, but it's just called attraction marketing formula, all right? So I want everybody to have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday, 12 30 Eastern. Have a great one, and don't forget to grab your boot camp. want to learn about how to really take what's this stuff that, you know, we teach it as if it's online, but you want to take it offline. It's same thing, same principles. All right. So have a great weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.